please like this video leave a comment and don't forget to share all right welcome to skinny tv on youtube once again now let's talk about Tarek lamte yes as you are aware and um, the Ghanaian coach who is based in London actually confirmed that um, Tariq Lamte has already switched to play for the Black Stars of Ghana. And um, we are going to look at how this player is going to be maybe the next Samuel Nkum or the next Harrison Afo. As you know already, after Samuel Nkum as well as Harrison Afo playing the right back of Ghana Blasters so well and solving that problem. After them, we are yet to know players who might fit in very well and give us that consistency yes we can talk about you know the likes of um andy yadom and some other players but they have not been able to play the right back very well but now we got Denis Odoi, and after that we are getting Tariq Lamte. so let's look at five things that Tariq Lamte is going to add up in today's blasters of ghana and why we really need him to play at that right back position so if you haven't subscribed to the channel before you begin smash on that subscribe button below there put on the post notification bell on all for more updates on this channel are you ready let's go okay so the first thing we are going to talk about here is one he solves Ghana's right back problems for the next decade yes um he's solving the problem for the next decade because Tariq Lamte's arrival will mark an end to Ghana's quest to dependable um right back since Harrison Afo and Samuel Ukum, as I said already since 2017 when Harrison Afo made his last appearance for the Black Stars of Ghana the team has been without a dependable right back um the likes of Andy Yadam, as I mentioned, have been tried out in the row, but have not yet, um, you know, made any significant impact. Um, if confirmed, Lamte could be the solution to the right back problem. Lamte has um, a high ceiling that could see him play for any of the Europe top five clubs. And um, he is very young. That's why I said he may solve the problem for the next decade. Yes, um, he is young. And he can play for the next 10 years and um, the second point we are going to talk about here is he is very versatile his versatility is a plus to the black stars of ghana as tarik lamte's main position is right back but he is blessed with um versatility to play as right wing back right wing and in midfield um he has played in all four positions for brighton and hope Albion. Um, under Graham Potter, the, the, their coach, and a youngster, despite having his season ruined by injuries, has come in and done decently for Brighton. And um, expectations are that he will enjoy more consistent runs and remain injury-free next season, and we will see his performance. Now, the third thing we are going to talk about here is dream right back for strikers. Um, he is a dream right back for strikers. Why are we saying this? Tariq Lamji's offensive prowess makes him a dream player for strikers and for a, a Black Stars team that sometimes lack creativity in middle. Tariq Lamji's marauding runs in the flanks could be a source of goals for the team. He is a good crosser of the ball too. He knows how to ship the ball well and into dangerous positions. Um, out of 49 matches played in his professional career, Tariq has made 44 crosses with an accuracy of 21% um, in the Premier League. And um, Tariq also has the ability to dribble and create chances as well. He has created nine chances, nine big chances in his career as a right back. And um, the next one, that's the fourth one we are going to talk about, and he is solid defensively he is very solid defensively um Tariq Lamte's main quality in his attacking abilities but defensively the 19 year old is solid too and i'm um, aided by the pace that he has Tariq is difficult to outrun and able to intercept and deal cut out crosses and um this are part of his qualities he has 62 tackles with a successful rate of um 68 percent he has blocked eight key balls and has 555 interceptions and 44 clearances in his career in terms of ball recoveries Tarek has pulled 191 and won 230 balls over there all stats are for premier league games now the fifth point we are going to talk about here is discipline on and off the field his discipline on and off the field in his brief professional career Tarek Lamte does not have a history of being in discipline on and off the pitch and in the games 
mentioned above, only eight of those did he receive a yellow card and only once he has been sent off in the Premier League game. Um, the red card came in the 2 and defeat to Aston Villa last season and I'm um, off the field. Tariq is said to be um, or to come from a good home with virtues of humility, respect and politeness ingrained in him and um, he would thus become no headache for a Blasters coach and the Ghana Football Association. So, these are the five things which were, you know, highlighted by GhanaWeb.com and I decided to bring it to you. One quality I also see from this player and the way he's very hungry for success, he can actually prove his mind and also he is very confident in himself as a player. Moving out from Chelsea to join Brighton Hope Albion tells you how he knows himself that he has the quality and he has that potential to be a top-notch player and he's proven it since he joined Brighton and Hope Albion. He has never been underrated and he is doing very well for himself. So these are the five points plus my own two um, for you on this channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to smash on that subscribe button. Put on the post notification bell on all for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later. Hey, subscribe to the channel. Hit on the notification bell for more.